Hello, dear ones. Listen, I know that many of you are invested in the creative projects that you're working on, your books, your paintings, you know, perhaps uh, your life is your canvas. And as you go, you get stuck. This morning, I was working with a therapy client, and I remembered this piece from Elizabeth Gilbert's Big Magic, and I just wanted to jump online and read this to you as encouragement, because I know that we are all terrified that what we have to offer the world isn't something the world wants. So I'm just going to read to you her section, Scary, Scary, Scary. Again, Elizabeth Gilbert, Big Magic. If you haven't read this book, you really should. It's very encouraging and supportive of the creative life. So listen carefully, all right? Listen to the end. Let's talk about courage now, she says. If you already have the courage to bring forth the jewels that are hidden within you, terrific. You're probably already doing really interesting things with your life and you don't need this book. Rock on. But if you don't have the courage, let's try to get you some. Because creative living is a path for the brave. We all know this. And we all know that when courage dies, creativity dies with it. We all know that fear is a desolate boneyard where our dreams go to desiccate in the hot sun. This is common knowledge. Sometimes we just don't know what to do about it. Let me list for you some of the many ways in which you might be afraid to live a more creative life. Listen up, my friends. You're afraid you have no talent. You're afraid you'll be rejected or criticized or ridiculed or misunderstood or worst of all, ignored. You're afraid there's no market for your creativity and therefore no point in pursuing it. You're afraid somebody else already did it better. You're afraid everybody else already did it better. You're afraid somebody will steal your ideas so it's safer to keep them hidden forever in the dark. You're afraid you won't be taken seriously. You're afraid your work isn't politically, emotionally, or artistically important enough to change anyone's life. You're afraid your dreams are embarrassing. You're afraid that someday you'll look back on your creative endeavors as having been a giant waste of time, effort, and money. You're afraid you don't have the right kind of discipline. You're afraid you don't have the right kind of workspace or financial freedom or empty hours in which to focus on invention or exploration. You're afraid you don't have the right kind of training or degree. You're afraid you're too fat. Then she says, I don't know what this has to do with creativity exactly, but experience has taught me that most of us are afraid we're too, too fat. So let's just put it on the anxiety list for good measure. You're afraid of being exposed as a hack or a fool or a dilettante or a narcissist. You're afraid of upsetting your family with what you may reveal. You're afraid of what your peers and coworkers will say if you express your personal truth aloud. You're afraid of unleashing your innermost demons and you really don't want to encounter your innermost demons, do you? You're afraid your best work is behind you. You're afraid you never had any best work. You're afraid you neglected your creativity for so long that now you can never get it back. How many of you have that one going on? You're afraid you're too old to start. You're afraid you're too young to start. You're afraid because something went well in your life once, so obviously nothing can go well again. You're afraid that because nothing has ever gone well in your life, why bother trying? You're afraid of being a one-hit wonder. You're afraid of being a no-hit wonder. Then she says, listen, I don't have all day here, so I'm not going to keep listing fears. It's a bottomless list anyhow, and a depressing one. I'll just wrap up my summary by saying this. Scary, scary, scary. Everything is so damn scary. Right, friends? It is. It's scary just to begin to create, to set aside time for something you don't know where it's going. This life is improvisational. We don't have a dress rehearsal. So we just have to jump in, give it our best try, commit time to it, and know that committing time to your creativity is committing time to yourself and also a gift for anyone who participates in your creativity, reads it, looks at it, just even shares in your life. So wherever you're at in your fear cycle, and we all have one, just remember, I'm behind you. I've got your back. Be, be committed to your creativity. Make the time for it. And know that we're all afraid together.